Hello guys, welcome back to Hit Point Inn. My name is Revolt and I'll be your bartender for today. Let us continue our uh, Prophecy of Pandora playthrough. We're going to be continuing with Rowan on day 354. And I seem to recall that we're doing pretty well. We are fighting against the Glorious Empire with our glorious boys. And I seem to recall that we have a decently sized army, 268, not fucking bad. Almost 300. Not fucking bad. Empire Legionnaires, Empire Armored Crossbowmen up the ass. Raven Star Rangers as well up the ass. I like what I'm seeing, boys. I like what I'm seeing. Um, I guess we're, we're still saving these Fears Bane Huskarls until we, le we level all of them up. So we have a Fears Bane Huskarl contingency. I'll check Leslie and Julia, but we're most likely saving points. Yep, most likely saving points. I'll check Julia as well, but I think it's... Yep, yeah, same situation. Just saving points with them for their next level. Food stocks, how they look in. Uh, we got a baggage train, we got a gold bar. Why do I have that gold bar? Probably in case of emergency need of troops. We got a Qualys gem, we haven't used it yet. Let's check on uh, the food stocks and ethos are inexistent. But we have the baggage train, so we don't have to worry about that. Oh wow, everybody's showing up already. Hello Khajiit. Hello Bulwe. Oh, I see. Nice. So it fixed itself. Hello, Savio. Welcome back to the end, guys. Let's go ahead and verify if we have any quests. Verify my character, level 33. We are specking into the intellect department from here on out. We are the, the Batwoman, the Kraken Batwoman. Hello, Tihans. Welcome back. Have you already done the renown quest for one of the knighthood orders? Yes, I've already done the renown quests. I am currently a knight commander of the Order of the Kraken Cultists. Still need, uh, still need a few more quests so I can do the Snake Fortress, the Snake Cult Fortress quest. Um, haven't done that yet. I've just got ranked up to Knighthood Commander so I can, to Knight Commander, so I can unlock the guns for my Knighthood Order, which is coming on nicely, if I recall correctly. Gotta verify. Okay, we're currently reading the Codex of the Righteous Ranger, and I think we are going on the offensive against the Empire. Now, the question will be, do we go for Sez, or do we go for Janos first? I am the Kraken Batwoman. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're back. we even had peacetime with the Empire. And we've reconsolidated our forces. We're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty well. And now I'm gonna follow. I'm gonna follow um, an advice from one of you guys. I'm gonna check if this town has a prisoner tower. It does have a prisoner tower. Okay, we're gonna put in these guys. Another thing that I want to verify, and this is gonna be the final thing, and then we can move on. The Iranian Trade Federation, how many vassals does it have? Lord Lethal Durin. Okay, so we're going to take the next fief. And then, uh, well, once we take the next fief, we will have to get ourselves another, another vassal. It says it's easier, and the Janos is your vote. Okay, so one for one. I'm simply going to do, going to go on a scouting mission to the south first. Small band of enemies near Valvin Castle. Yeah, that's not that's not gonna be my problem. I think uh, Lethal Luren can handle himself. I'm gonna do on a scout. I'm gonna go on a scouting mission and check all of the enemies have laid waste to a thief to Fedner. Ha! Ah, yeah, we left Fedner fend for itself, but it's fine. That's fine. I'm just gonna go to Janos. Uh, Bacchus Empire offers money for Lord Dion. Sure. I'm gonna go to Janos and check on the garrison. How's Janos looking? Autosan is awarded. Blah, blah. What do we got here? 900 and... Holy shit, that's a lot of troops. 1,000 troops. 1,000 troops in Janos. Probably over 1,000 because... Because lords. That's not gonna go well. Um, if I remember when the Renown quest was... I'm gonna check it out on the VODs. Uh, Tihans, go to my YouTube channel. You'll find one of the episodes there. You're you're gonna find the renowned quests over there. Just uh, 
try to look for Knighthood Order episodes. Hello, Mendar. Good morning. Lord Alice of the Bacchus Empire is laying waste to Bouvran. You know, I'm trying to remember if Morris Castle is the easiest castle to take. Because if Morris Castle is the easiest castle to take, I like to defeat the Empire in all of the other regions and leave Morris Castle their last bastion. Because if that's the case, that's going to be amazing. Okay, what do we got here at Oregar? Oregar, I know it. I know Oregar is a bitch to take. Three hundred and thirty-eight with Lord Antonius with 80, 89 troops inside. That's that's going to be easy peasy. Serpent High Priestess Priestess Guard. We're going to go attack that because uh, we need to get our feet wet. Haven't played in a week, so we of course got to get our feet wet. Three hundred and seventeen in Mara's Castle. That is easy. So let's go ahead. Which one was getting... Bouvran, maybe? Might have been Bouvran. Doesn't matter. Who's fighting over there? Noldor House and Lord Lethal Durin just murdering Lord Alice. Fucking his ass up. Oh my god! Are we, do we have the same speed? I don't care anymore. Screw that. Well, Lord Alice has been destroyed. Defeated but managed to escape. Hello, Constanza. Welcome back to the end, dude. I have no idea, Des. I have no idea why you're suffering in these issues. Maris was easy to capture. Okay, we're gonna leave Maris the last bastion of the Empire. Let's go to Sez and clear it out. I'm gonna go tell Lord Lethal Lord to follow me. Come on, my boy. It is time to ask you if you wanna marry me again. Nope. Okay. Then I uh, have a new... No. Start a new campaign. We must get our forces. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Yeah. Following me, right? Good. I'm gonna go to... It says directly and just take it. One fell swoop. Armored crossbowmen. Slowly... We don't even have that many troops to level up because most of them are highest, high tier. Yep. We've made sure that Lethal Durin... Lethal Durin's army is strengthened last time. Almost did an all-nighter playing Stronghold 2. Isn't Stronghold 2 the worst of the two? Oh, shit. Ah, oh, never mind. I'll, I'll deal with the with the Nighter Order after we take says. Let's just uh, be the iron while it's hot. That's probably the best of the three. Oh, okay. Urgent message. Uh, Fender's dead. I guess you want to tell you want to tell me that Fender's dead. Sure. Who do we got here? Daughters of Persino. Okay, I'm just gonna get rid of them before they cause any more problems. Hi, Siggy. What did you do with my boys? Increase their strength by three. Fuck. Oh, Jesus. Damn, Siggy, you beast! You gangster! Athletics by two, by one. Okay, that's good. And proficiency by enough. Damn, boy. Damn. That's some good, good increase. Agility by one. Nothing to their skills. Increase their two-handed proficiency by ten. Not bad. Not bad. Awesome. Welcome back, Siggy. See that OG? Yeah. All right. Um, I think I should send you again. Because they're at 24. There's still space for strength to 30. So I'd like to ask you to train my boys. Two weeks. Just two weeks is enough. Keep that up. Nostalgia Moments caught me on Stronghold 2. Used to be your all-time favorite. I see. Cool. Hello, Raised by Phantoms. Welcome back to the inn. We thank you, good sir. Yeah, I think I'm going to deal with... Uh, the Daughters of Persino. I'd like if Lethal Durin was here with me to join in this battle. Because there are 99 prisoners and I won't be able to take all of them. What are those? Syrian DR. Oh, it's a militia patrol. Lady's running away from me. And yep. All of my boys have now acquired the good stuff. 
And now let's attack the daughters. Lethal Durin should be able to join us here. Oh no. No. No, leave. Lethal Durin was not able to join because it's night time. That is kinda bullshit. Come on, Lethal. There you go. Now he joined. Cheers, the enemy. It's not that I can't take them on on my own. It's the fact that I want their prisoners. Archers up here. Infantry down here. Cavalry on that side. We actually have a decently sized contingency of cavalry this time around. Or at least I thought I saw a few of them. Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, so you're so glad you're on this side of the state. Parts of the U.S. is around minus 55 Celsius. Uh, we're going with Celsius. We don't calculate in Fahrenheit. Tell the infantry to stand closer. Uh, tell the infantry to hold their fire as well. Actually, they're... No, no, no. Tell the infantry to fire at will because there are quite a few knighthood or knights troops that we'd like to get rid of. Cavalry, turn your face towards the enemy. Yeah, just kill the Vakavian Knights. Just kill the Vakavian Knights. Gotta utilize our resources, my man. Gotta utilize our resources. That guy's not gonna hold. Yep. And their entire mounted... Their entire mounted forces have been decimated. At least the mounted forces from the first wave. At least the mounted forces from the first wave. Oh, no. There's one more standing. Oh, never mind. Dunion rings. And now we gotta deal with their infantrymen. Should be. Should be going perfectly, perfectly okay. I'm not seeing them in a situation where they're destroying us. Just gonna get rid of these shock troops so the, so the boys can uh, focus on the shield bearers. Because those guys will be a little bit harder to take down. There's another horse lady coming towards us. Oh no, three horse ladies. Not a big deal. Cavalry charge in, clear the place out. Ooh, hello. Yeah, clear the place out. Ooh, Pendor mounted man at arms has been fucked. Never mind. Regain positions, regroup to the side. You cleaned up pretty nicely. What else are we looking at here? Contingency of the Kavian ladies. The Kavian sentinels. I can handle these ladies myself. 366. Ooh, one handed proficiency. Not bad. And there's their reinforcements. The good thing is they no longer have any mounted units, so... They're practically fighting... Fighting, uh... I'm not even sure how to describe it. They, they can't reach us and effectively kill us. Nope, no mercy. They're not showing any mercy. Why should I? The Vakavian Kromgar was like, nope! Cavalry charge in. Again, eliminate the small contingency of infantrymen. I'm going to go disrupt their archer line so we can relieve some pressure. But although the boys seem to be holding the line pretty well. But this is actually a pretty decently sized archer line. There's another reinforcement wave coming towards us, so... As soon as me and the boys get rid of the Vicavian Sentinels, we're going to regroup... And retouch base. Come on, boys. It's enough. It's enough. We're good. Come on back. Come on back. They're fighting a losing battle? Pretty much. I guess they're fighting a losing battle, but that's not the way I would put it. Get rid of this lady as well. I feel like the... Yeah, there are not a lot of arrows knocking around. Uh, there's still a few shooting, mostly crossbowmen. 
seeing a lot of shields up. Usually when you see shields up, that means they switch to melee, thus they ran out of ammo. A few, a few crossbowmen still firing away. Yeah, I think we're just gonna charge in here. Let them get in closer, and we'll tell everyone to charge. Get in closer, go. Everyone, engage. There. Oh, where are you running off to, little broy? Come on, little broy. There. And, oh, wow, there's another reinforcement wave. Last one seems, yeah. Practically the leftover troops. Leftover troops of the area. All right, boys, we're going to keep the charge going. We're going to keep the charge going. We're going to go hunt down at that last reinforcement wave. No point in keeping position here. Just don't die on me, okay, guys? I need every one of you in the battles to come. And there they are. Yep. Seem to be small fries. They do have spears, so... Might be a bad idea engaging them with... It's a leveled up. With mounted units, but eh. They also have leather hats, so... Oh, wow, they actually killed one. Well, one of Lethal Durin's, not mine. And I think Lethal Durin has enough soldiers right about now. I think he has enough soldiers. So we're good. We're good. This battle went well. Yeah, they're worse than your favorites, but they're... They're a pretty decent ranged archer. A little bit weaker than Ravenstone Rangers, but pretty up there. Couldn't tell you the exact stats. We could verify after the battle if you want to. We could verify. I'm actually curious myself. Uh, Chip the Vicavian Blood Sword. That's just weak. That's just weak. We're gonna abandon them. We're gonna abandon everything. Now, what do we got here? Man, that's a lot of good stuff. Okay, take that Empire Armored Pikeman. Take the Noble Legionnaire. Shadow Legion Marinus, take those. Take the Legionnaire. Take the Armored Crossbowman. Take the Crossbowman. Take the Heavy Infs. What else do we got? Don't want the levy horseman. He's just gonna die off like it's nobody's business. Take the hunter, take the recruit. Take the Empire Pikeman. Bounty Hunter, Pendor, Maiden, Mercenary Warriors. They're expensive. Okay, these will go to Lethal Durin's. Lethal Durin's squad. Mm, okay. Yep, he is indeed a buffed up beefcake. He is quite the spicy meatball right now. Quite the spicy meatball. Let's bring all of the intellect boys down. Oh, wow, Elisa. You looking badass. Look at that. Look at that girl. Damn, girl. You fine. You ready to kick ass. And then we have Julia with that stupid looking helmet. I just don't like the Phoenix Riders. The Knights of the Phoenix, they just look silly to me. They just look silly. I, I can't. I just can't, okay? Jansen, show me your skills. Oh, Jansen is almost ready to become a vassal. You know my minimum requirement. 18 charisma. Sweet spot 21. Looking good. Leadership, pathfinding 2. Writing 3, but I'm not going to be able, not going to invest any more into your agility, so... That's it for you, mate. That's it for you. I'm going to give you that extra trainer point. Because it's going to help us. And... Going a little bit on the archery department. Bat battle was amazing with all your archers. Well, yeah, Des. Gotta work it up. Gotta work it up. Gotta minimize casualties. And that's why I really prefer ranged options. Uh, snake cultist with empire armor, the irony. Oh, right. Yeah. Hey, I told them to not look at their fashion sense and look at the stats. What the morale is like for a little druid's army? He must struggle keeping them all happy. I don't care. I don't care. That is his beeswax. If you can't handle the pressure, stay out of the kitchen. I asked him, hey, you want to be my boy? 562. 
Sidonius Legatus, this is going to be easy. This is going to be super easy. Well, at least I think it's, it's going to be. We're going to find out soon. Let's go, Lethal Durin. Says awaits. Besiege the castle, prepare the ladders, and let's do it. Mover. It's Mover. You forget why do you require 18 charisma for a vassal? Do you actually notice a difference between six and, uh, 5 and 6 leadership in the AI calculations? I don't notice a difference, my man. I simply... I don't notice because I don't... I never had a vassal with 5. Before investing in the leadership department, uh, I always saw them with around 100 troops. That's not enough. But now that I have leadership 7, and with the amount of... Um, with the amount of uh, fiefs that I give them, they usually end up with 250, 300 troops. So I think that's good. I think that the I think why I'm doing it is pretty good. What do we got here? Archers on this side, infantry over there. Infantry, hold your fire until you get to position. Cavalry over there. Archers, sit over here and start shooting. Everyone get in there. Good. Ready in position. Alright. Fire orders. Fire at will. Throw that shit, boys. Throw that shit. A little bit forward, maybe. Cavalry a little bit forward. Archers a little bit forward. Might even tell the archers to stand a bit closer, but nah, nah, it's gonna be fine. Also, Lethal Durin's Noldor Rangers will be amazing here. Will simply be amazing here. Yep. Yep, having Lethal Durin here, as I said, will make this a cakewalk. Yeah, yeah, I do, I do this in all mods. So, my rules for a good vassal are... 15 strength, at least 15 strength, um, charisma, minimum 18 with leadership 6, or sweet spot, 21 with leadership 7, and they need to have some pathfinding, a little bit of pathfinding so they zip around the map just that bit faster, because in AutoCal, in AutoCal, the, the AI takes into consideration the Lord's strength, their number of troops, their quality of troops, and the terrain, the terrain. So we solve we solve the strength by po dumping points to tr into strength. We solve the numbers and quality with leadership buffs. And pathfinding is is useful simply for them to zip around the world map that much faster and catch up troops, catch up to enemy troops. Well, but you know, you know, by surprise, tickle them by the ass, tickle them on the ass. Trainer, I did, I did not see any difference between a vassal with trainer and a vassal without trainer, so I don't think trainer is taken into consideration. Wish it would be, but uh, I did not see it that it was. We did receive reinforcements, it seems. Did receive some reinforcements. How many did we kill? Killed 164. Everyone is firing at will, correct? Infantry a little bit forward. That's gonna be that's gonna be a little bit difficult for the enemies to shoot my boys down. But they are shooting in the cavalry. Do you guys have any bows and arrows? I see one guy. An Empire Cavalry just shooting. I think that that one's that one was the one that we saved from the prisoner train and we gave to Lethal Durn because I didn't want him. So that's good. That's okay. We got Shallow Legion Marinus in there. What else do you guys have? Oh shit, that one's that one's firing at me. Yep, definitely firing at me. Gotta reload, gotta dodge. Ready, aim. Boop. Fucking. Boop. Nope. No more shooting for me. Get myself killed, and I don't want to retreat. I don't want to retreat. Although the killing has been going a little bit on the slow side, now... Archers, stand closer and advance ten paces. 
And that should help out a bit. That's not me yelling, but it's sure annoying. Thank you! I actually wanted that guy to die. Now I can focus fire on those dudes in that in that sniper's nest. Putting in some damage. Missed, huh? Wonder if the bullet falls off. Maybe the bullet falls off. And any companion can train the custom knight holder in firearms as long as there is some skill. Uh, no, Thorn. Just, uh... What the fuck's his name? Uh, the only one who can train ya boys in uh, firearm proficiency is Donovan. And I'm down. Everybody's charging. I'll let the archers attack as well. Although I'm not sure how they're going to handle these fuckers right here. That's our problem. Just let the cavalry charge in. Hello, Siggy. Welcome to the inn, my man. They're lethal durance troops anyway, and they're out of arrows. Yeah, it's okay. We've practically let them charge. Indeed, he did join the conversation. How can the snake hold be destroyed when you didn't kill Maltese yet? Maybe you killed all of their other armies, my man. Losing troops. Lose it. We're practically wasting uh, lethal durance troops here. There's no point. There's no point in continuing this battle. We lost 11 men, 9 legionnaires, fuck. And my boy lost 16. Out of which... 2 Noldor, 2 Noldor warriors, 3 Noldor rangers. Not worth it. Not worth it. They, they lost 273. This is going to be Dunyan Ring soon. Abandon the siege. Check if we need to level up anybody. No. Re-engage in the siege. 389. Hmm, they had more troops than I thought. Yeah, yeah, we did receive we do receive a high uh, penalty from retreating, retreating from battles. That's something that I need to accept if I wish to minimize troop casualties. There. Penderlined Bowman was killed by a Shadow Legion Centurion. It's fine this time, I'm not going to order the infantry to to throw their weapons. I'm just going to let them do the, do it on their own. Curious to see if some, if anybody, any one of them is getting any kills with those throwing weapons. No. No, I'm not seeing anybody. Gaining kills. I'm going to tell the archers to stand closer a bit and move forward by one. That should do it. There. Let's see if we can get rid of some of them as well. Missed. Mystification. Can't see shit. Nope. Little rangers and archers are having a field day with the Empire, at least. True, true, they are. They are just murdering. Serene is not even holding his shield up. He does not give a fuck. He's all like, what the fuck's with that knife, though? Serene? You have your sword, but what's with the... What's with a butter knife? Anybody else having this issue? Anson's looking good. Sir Alistair also has a butter knife. No idea. No idea. Oh, that's good. He's a good gay. Yeah, no idea. No clue. Okay, I'd love if the boys focused on the archers instead of the... Well, there practically are. Levy skirmishers killed? Yeah, they are focusing on the archers. They're just too many. Fuckers, oh god. It's a throwing knife? Ooh, that might be it, bull. That might be it. 
Oh yeah, it is a throwing knife. And I'm also dead. Ha. Ah. Okay, archers. Sit here. Don't move a muscle. Let the infantry try to, de to dent their numbers. You boys keep shooting. Oh shit, they left this one exposed? How about going th going through here, boys? How about going through here? Yeah, these guys are the ones I'm worried about. The Empire Guardian Knights, or whatever they are. I'd like to see one of them die and see exactly what we're fighting against. Or at least what's killing my men. Oh, they're Shadow Legion Centurions. Yeah, most likely, Bull. Most likely. That, that is probably the case. Okay. Come on, kill their Shadow Legion. Damn it. The Shadow Legion boys are the ones that are not going down. Oh, there's a dent here. Come on. Surround them. Surround them. Nice. They even reached the Fierce Vein Huskarls. Sometimes in situations like this, I wish there was an FF within the AI, because it makes sense as archers don't have perfect aim in a situation like this. And I can't send any more infantry to their death. I think I should retreat here. Well, there's still killing going on. But we did lose 13. We lost 235. Okay, let's try a surrender. Let's try and look for a surrender. We're losing a lot of renown and a lot of honor right now. We gained 17 morale, so we practically recovered that. Okay, surrender. You sure? Alright, you fuckface. How many troops do you have left? 163. Put your crossbowmen and legionnaires in separate groups. My crossbowmen and legionnaires are in separate groups. Siggy. The fuck, man. Level of Diev. This whole lose honor system when retreating is so stupid in my opinion. I don't think it's even realistic. It's probably not realistic, but it's simply a way for the devs to stop you from exploiting uh, the shoot to kill and then retreat and then re-engage. Mmm, I see. I see what you're saying, Ziggy. No, no, it's fine. I want, I want Lethal Luren to have as many troops as possible. I, I'm not afraid of losing my own men. We still have a lot more where that came from. Now I understand what you're saying. I know, Consenantap, I know. But it probably made the game too easy in the dev's opinion. It was not my decision, okay? It was not my decision. I'm gonna keep on putting points in uh, Diev's strength for right now. I'd like to bring that power draw up in case we need to fall back on a... you know, secondary plan with our Knighthood Order boys in case they don't, you know, do very well with their guns. Bring that Weapon Master up. Make you better at what you do, my boy. Make you better at what you do. Okay, final push time. Final push time. I doubt that caravan's gonna enter says with us around. Good. Armored crossbowman. An Empire Knight. Heavy infantry, crossbowmen, light infantry. Good. Is it worth using more than the three potions of Janos and the other one? Hmm. I guess it's worth it worth it if you have an excess amount of Qualis gems, my man. I could see it may be worth it.
All right, everybody in position. I love how their archers are aggroing on me. Like it's nobody's goddamn business. But practically, right now, the most worth investment for Qualis Gems is your Custom Knighthood Order and the three potions of Hakon that increase your Strength, Agility, and Charisma. Those are the worst, most worth it, in my opinion. Currently. The rest of them, not so much. Most of them, not so much. Who knows, maybe now that they have so little men, maybe their uh, Shadow Legion boys will step forward and kill themselves. Because you need four Qualis Gems and a Gold Bar for the strongest weapon in the game, I feel like the strongest weapon in the game is not that worth it anymore. And... Was there any other... Oh right, Twilight Dust and stuff. Maybe using the Twilight Dust to increase uh, Lethal Lurin's Trainer skill, that might be a good idea. Uh, but besides that, I'm not seeing Twilight Dust being that useful. If you get more Qualis Gems, you should invest in Companions so they can train uh, your Custom Knighthood or better. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Siggy. But the only worth, uh, the only Companion worth using the Twilight Dust on is Lethal Durin. So, they can so he can train your Custom Knighthood Order better. Or Siggy. Or Siggy. Which I'm currently utilizing to train them up. Because I need that... Uh, Strength skill. Okay, everybody please stand closer. Gatsy to, to 44 strength. That's pretty insane, my man. Hello, Gabby. Welcome back to the end. You already went into describing siege mode. Already went into describing the siege mode. I see. I'd like to get rid of that fucker over there. Okay. There is a draw. There is a drop. See the bullet. Got him. Not that, not that high of a drop. Next up. Of course. How you doing, Gabby? Let's go up there and... The recruits are dying. 310 what, my man? Damage? Oh, hi! It seems you guys are impatient to die. Or maybe they have too too few troops now. They decided, you know what, we're gonna f die fighting. And thus they're desperate. Or they're insane. They're insane. The pressure is just too high and they're like, you motherfuckers. Oh yeah. Oh, my firearm proficiency. I see. Yeah, I have a lot of firearm proficiency. Not all of them, it seems. But I'm kind of baiting them out. Hello, farmer. Here they come. Fill them full of holes, boys. The Civil War will be over soon. Everybody advance. A tidbit. Hi. Ow. Ah, that must have hurt, man. I think there's a small... What? All of the Shadow Legion boys died? Holy crap. They did. They did die. Didn't even have to... Charge. Risky pay for the recruits, I guess so. Well, Gabby, see for yourself, my man. Snonius and Kairos have escaped. A fine Empire broadsword. Looks sexy. Anybody wants that? No. And we almost ran out of food, so this was the exact perfect opportunity for us. What do we got here? Snake cult, snake cult, cobra warriors, Vakavi companions, crom guards, Menheim greatswords, regular infantrymen, empire boys, Ravenstern ranger, take the rogue black hard knight, 
Take the Menheim, take the Menheim, take the Great Swords. They're not going to survive long, but sure. And the rest will go to Lethal Durin. There. I will give says to somebody else. A little bit later on. All right, and now the town's ours. Yeah, I took the Menheim, boys. Is the Empire yellow? Just curious, because you notice the enemy shields are blue. Um, the enemy shields were blue, Des, because they were wearing the flag of their lord. Exactly, like it's on top said. Oh, no, 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 not the grain. Not the grain. There. Now let's buy all of the food. All of the food, I said. Not the grapes, though. Nobody wants the grapes. They finish too fast. Well, with that time for me to wind down, because they're going to bed. Sure, dude. Minheim Adventurers. Come with me. Be useful. Ash and the Wanderers. Mm, 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 mm. Tell me anything about your travels. Decently useful. Alright, so, this is our progress, Gabby. We are having the Empire on the ropes. The next the next location we're going to be attacking is Janos. But first, I will appoint a new vassal. So let's see. Let's see. Uh, no, not faction relations. Known lords by relation. Lord Cassian. Okay, let's see what Lord Cassian is doing. Notes. Factions. I think he's a Bacchus Empire boy. Lord Cassian. Upstanding. Where are you? He was at Janos. Mm -hmm. Sure. Thank you for reminding me, my man. But I think I had. I need to have this uh, castle assigned to me so that there's a chest. Right? Oh, there's the chest. Nope. I need to have says assigned to me so I have to have access to the chest, Siggy. It's not says and the villages around says are not mine. So there's I can't uh, I can't loot it. Down with you. There. Next up. Okay, Lethal Learn, you can go home now. All's good. We end the campaign here. And now I'm going to step towards Ethos. And check what's going on over there. I feel like there's going to be uh, some vassals trying to join our side soon. Going to go help that Ravenstern caravan. Aw, oh, boys. Aw, oh, boys. There's no point in running after them. They're going to be running after us. There. What can I do with a myth rune plate? You can upgrade it. Are you talking about the reward that you receive from, uh... No, 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 don't. Don't advance. Don't advance. Don't advance, you mooks. There. Cavalry on this side. You talking about, uh, the... plate that you receive as a reward from the tournament? Uh, well, you always take all fiefs for yourself first, and when you're back in your capital still, you just give in to vassals. Seems against my pretty insane loot in there. I understand, Siggy. I don't grab them for myself because I might receive a relation penalty with some of the lords. But it's fine. It's fine. Cavalry attack. Infantry attack. 
You got a question. When you click on a picture of a lord, then, then you can see his personality. You haven't got this in your game. Do you have it from a mod or something, or is it something you unlock in the options? It's, uh, what mod are you playing, Bull? Because this is a feature that only appears in Pendor. Really? And it doesn't appear for you? Interesting. Don't, ch uh, by the way, uh, if you're checking a faction leader, faction leaders don't have a personality. Try to, try to check another lord or something, a lesser lord. But yeah, if you're trying to look for a faction leader, faction leaders don't have personalities. That's who you're verifying. But no, I don't have it from a mod. Wow, Empire Legion is getting killed by Snake Cult, huh? That's lame. Hopefully you can provide me with some uh, replacement troops. Alright. No problem. Great Bardish. I doubt anybody wants anything. Well, they had oh wow they actually had some uh, replacement troops that's amazing that is indeed amazing I'll take those never mind no, that's it that's all folks all your city names are from native warband all of them including says ethos and uh, the rest yeah I think you should reinstall your mod like In Inquidius said Think that's for the best. Can I have ethos now? Oh, hello. Border incident between the Shar and Sadleon. That's your problem. Lord Brutus. Hello, Brutus. Do you wish to dance? I like to dance. <laughs> 